Investment is super duper complicated and it's only for the rich people. The reason why people think it is complicated is because of the investment decisions to be. So there are two things when we talk about investment. Saving will make your future secure. Just saving money will take care of your financial future. Sorry, that's not going to happen. You'll have to wisely invest that. So timing of the market is the key. For investment? Yes. Partially, yes. It is not timing. You know, it is like purchasing the right one. In the stock market, what happens? In position, reliance, or any company. The share price goes up or goes down because of two reasons. Stock SIPs when the market is rising. I mean, that's a myth again, but uh, good that at least you are telling this. But there are many people, they say, when the markets are down, you should sell. Right. Both are wrong. Okay. These are the top five mutual funds you should definitely invest in this. See, unfortunately, in India, sellers are advising, advisors are selling. Hello and welcome to Indian Money's YouTube channel. I'm Keithi Gosai and today we have with us the founder and CEO of the Freedom app. Sudhir sir, welcome. Thank you. Today we are here because we are going to bust some of the myths that you have about investments. Personally, I am very, very scared to invest. And I do have certain things that people have told me and it really confuses me. So uh, Sudhir sir is here today and he's going to bust some of the myths that I have and some of the myths that you might have. So sir, could we start? Definitely. So sir, the first myth that I have is that investment is super duper complicated and it's only for the rich people. I think that's a very wrong uh, statement because investments uh, are not just those which you make in the stock market, right? right? You have FD, it's an investment. If the investment is the most the simplest one, RD, right. right? Or you buy a piece of land, it's an investment. Right. Right? You invest in mutual funds, SIP. Right. Very easy. These days, uh, investing in SIP is like 10 minutes job. Just right. 10 minutes. You download an app, complete your uh, complete KYC, and go live. Start right. investing. Right. It's so simple. I think the reason. Uh, why people think it is complicated is because of the investment decisions to be made. Right. So there are two things when we talk about investment. One is the investing process. Right. Second one is the investment decisions. Right. Now if you ask me about investment process, it is very simple, right. seamless. Whether even to invest in stock market, today technology has made our life very you know, easy. easy yeah. Right. But when it comes to investment decisions, these are a bit complicated because what happens many a times we make uh, investment decisions in hurry or with limited information or less information or with wrong information right. and then that eventually becomes a wrong decision and you lose out all the money. Right. And that's how in the society those who made such wrong decisions in the past they have started influencing everyone. Hey, investments are complicated. Right, right. Don't do it. It is not that investments are complicated or investment process is complicated. Investment decisions are a bit complicated if you have no information. That's what Warren Buffett says. If you don't understand it, don't invest in it. Right. As simple as that. Right. So I understand FD, I invest in FD. Right. I understand RD, I invest in RD. Until I understand something, I will not invest in it. That's a simpler thing. Real estate. When I talk about real estate, let's say I'm a villager, I'm a farmer. I understand all about uh, farmland. Very easy. I will buy more if I have money. Right. Right? If I'm somebody who's living in city, I understand about buying a plot of land. I know what may go wrong. I can make decisions. So I will invest in a plot of land. Right. So I think that's the right way of doing it. Otherwise, it is not complicated. Right. And this is something my father also says. So PF is sufficient for your financial growth. Is that true? So if you're an employee working with a company, you get uh, employee provident fund. Right. So when you get employee provident fund, you contribute from your side. Your employer contributes on your behalf. Right. So a good amount of money, about close to 24% of your basic salary right. goes towards your PF contribution right. every month right. until you retire. Right. In between, you have this option of withdrawing as well. Right. 
and if you ask me by far epf is the best investment in the guaranteed return sector right the return you get there is the highest right but is that enough i won't say that okay the reason is in the financial planning standard we say that you have to diversify mm. and you have to also look at investments which gives you higher returns right. so now pf epf employee provident fund if you don't change the job you can't withdraw it right and once you change the job you can withdraw right right if you're in a government job you can't withdraw until retirement because you won't change the job in between you want to withdraw you will have to go with you you're getting married you have to go with your invitation card so many complications even then you can't withdraw full amount right there are a lot of limitations so my suggestion here is if you ask me just pf is enough i won't accept that's not the right statement but you have to diversify it when we talk about investments there are different goals i have short term goals long term goals retirement is a long term goal right epf is very good for Retirement. Retire. In between, you have got other goals. Right. Purchasing a house. EPF is not the right investment yes. vehicle to save money for accumulate money to buy a house. Right. To buy a car in the next two years. Right. EPF is not the solution. To buy uh, to to fund your kids' education. EPF is not the right solution. Right. So you have to look at all these options. Why are you saying? Right. Then you have to make it. That's given me quite some clarity. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll come to the next one. Saving will make your future secure. <laughs> Interesting. I think now I'm recollecting uh, what happened back at my village. Right. I think about three weeks back, uh, my dad was was actually cleaning some of the old stuff back at home in the village in a farmhouse, and he came across a old truck. and this was my grandfather he passed away in 1984 in the trunk he had saved rupees 2000 rupees all 20 rupee notes he passed away in 84 maybe he would have kept this money sometime in 1982 and today we are living in 2022 40 years old and that value of 2000 is exactly 2000 even today had he invested the 2000 in some investment that would have been worth in sensex terms it would have been worth 10 lakh rupees today right so savings is keeping money in a place that's not investing right i i say money in my house locker right. some locker in house i have seen my mom at least doing it in the grocery boxes she used to keep money right and that happens even today in many homes that's not saving i mean that's not enough correct saving is good you keep aside some part of your income because you you never know when you will have uncertain times but then if you ask me just saving money will take care of your financial future sorry that's not going to happen you will have to wisely invest that money. saving is basically you're controlling your expenditure from your income you're keeping aside some extra but that has to be invested that's what they say your hard and money should work harder than you Right. Only then you will have a better financial future. Right. So that's not enough. Right. Thank you, sir. So um, this I have heard from all my friends. So timing of the market is the key for investment. Yes. <laughs> Now it depends. Uh, that's not completely true because partially yes, right? It's partially correct. But when we talk about you know investing in FD, timing hardly matters. when we talk about investing it's not investing in equity market only right right if you talk about real estate it is not timing you know it is like purchasing the right one we will not see that kind of downturn in real estate prices overnight in the stock market what happens infosys reliance share or any company for that matter the share price goes up or goes down because of two reasons we call them as macro factors and micro factors right. macro factors are suddenly there is a political stability issue in india mm. because of that entire market is down or there is this news around russia ukraine war mm. because of that the stock market goes down right. or pro- probably 
there's a sudden uh, news that US is imposing some sanctions on India right. for whatever it is. Suddenly it may go down. Now, whenever these macro factors affect the market, price will go down. But then these companies, the stock price imposes or reliance, fundamentally they are the same company. They're doing the same turnover. They're still making the same profit. It is sentimental. Yes. And whenever such things happens, you have to time it. It's a golden opportunity to buy it. But otherwise, uh, let's say now fundamentally they're weak. It has gone down. Even if you time it and invest when they're down, they'll further go down because fundamentally they're not strong. So timing alone will not work. Mm -hmm. You should also, so like just because some company share price has gone down, you buy it, but they've gone down. Why did they go down? Right. Not just because the macro factors. If, what if they've gone down because of micro factors? The CEO who used to lead the company really well, he moved out of the company. Yes. So share price has gone down, which means the next guy may not be good. I'll have to study that or probably they lost a big contract or they lost uh, because of some fire incident, they lost a big factory. So anything may happen. So such things may affect the overall growth. So in such cases, just timing will not work. You have to study it. So, but remember one thing, all those who are waiting for the luck to click in the stock market or while investing, remember it is the preparation. You have to prepare yourself. That's what they say, right? If you go to stock market with Lakshmi, you'll come back with Saraswati. If you if you enter stock market with Saraswati, you come back with Lakshmi. Right. So if you go with knowledge, you make money and come back. Right. You just go with money without knowledge, you lose money, but you gain some knowledge, knowledge and come back. Right. But some people, unfortunately, even after losing money in the stock market, time and again, they are not learning. Right. Buying multiple funds for diversity uh, is good in mutual funds. Is that a myth you're trying to... <laughs> okay, so now word. if you talk about mutual funds, right? When I invest in mutual funds, I'm investing because I want to diversify. So you have this equity diversified mutual funds. You have sectoral funds. I keep telling whenever, I, you know, a simple technique I give people. If you're investing 100 rupees mutual funds, invest 40 or 50 rupees into large cap mutual funds. Right. One or two, not more than that. Then you invest the remaining 30 rupees into mid cap or multi cap mutual funds. That's again one or two funds. Then about 15, 20 rupees or less than that into small cap mutual funds. Okay. One or two again. If you invest in like a large cap mutual fund, two is very good, three is too much beyond that is foolish right in one category you should not because a large cap mutual fund normally invest in at least 30 companies why do you want to hold diversity right. Old diversifying is not good right. so do, i've seen some people saying i've invested in 16 mutual funds i've invested in 12 mutual funds it's foolish right. i think more than eight is just not Required. required. It is very good. Right. Beyond that is too much. Right. So the next myth that we I have generally heard is that life insurance is an investment. Is it a myth? Hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, this happens in India. Right. That in India, all these insurance companies, in the name of insurance, they're selling savings, investments, pension plans. What is insurance? Insurance means sharing of risk. Okay. Tomorrow I die, my family should get comfort or I meet with an accident, I should get compensation. I fall ill, I should get compensation. Insurance is not to save or invest. Right? For that, you've got mutual funds, you've got bank FDs, you've got various other investment vehicles. And by doing that, see, in India, you know, I recently, I was talking to an insurance agent. He said, sir, in our company, we don't have term insurance plans. Just imagine. In fact, IRDA will cancel their license if they say we don't have term insurance. Right. But they have trained their salespeople in such a way just to ensure that they don't sell term insurance because term insurance gives very low income. There's no profit. Right. But if you sell endowment plan, ULIP plans and all, 
you make a lot of money because so much of commission, right. all that, right? They're not selling pure term insurance. Right. They're selling everything else. So life insurance is not for, of course, there are ULIP plans, investment savings plans, which are there, but term uh, life insurance should not be bought for saving or investment sake. Right. That did give me a lot of clarity. Uh, so the next myth that we have is mutual funds are all about stocks. Wrong. It's a myth. You have mutual funds where they invest in gold. We call them as ETFs, exchange traded funds. So you have gold ETFs. You've got real estate based mutual funds. You've got debt based mutual funds. So these are not just stocks. Yeah. Dividend plans are better than growth plans because you get some returns. No. See, in dividend plan, let's say now I invest in a mutual fund when the NAV is 10 rupees. Right. Now when NAV goes to 15. In growth plan, it goes from 15 to let's say 20. Okay. In dividend, they say, okay, touch 15, I'm giving you 2 rupee dividend. So it okay. goes back to 13. Okay. And then again, it has to grow. So right. Normally, what happens when you need regular income, you're a retired person, you need some right. monthly, some income. So in such cases, it is good to go for dividend plans. But dividend plan, you know, there is another issue. Earlier, what was happening, you had to even pay taxes. Okay, right. Right? And, and when you take out that dividend, you can't even adjust with the other gain you get. Right. So it doesn't make sense at all. My suggestion is go for growth plan. Right. Whenever you need money, just redeem so many units in the mutual fund. It doesn't make sense to That's a good advice. Yeah. Everybody should really take it. So coming on to the next, top SIPs when the market is rising. I mean, that's a myth again, but yeah. uh, good that at least you are telling this. But there are many people, they say, when the markets are down, you should sell it. Right. Both are wrong. Both are wrong. You should sell them when the portfolio they've invested. See, when you do SIPs, these are for long term, right. not for short term. Right. This is not just for one day, two day or one month, two month. When you make investments in SIPs, I want you to have this clarity. In between, you will see this movement. Just ignore it. As long as you believe in that fund and the investment philosophy is good. Of course, we go through the thesis, right? right. Where are they investing? What are the companies they're investing in? So that's enough. So don't don't liquidate right. if you have invested for a long time. But then a word of caution, for example, you have invested, let's say about 10,000 rupees every month right. into 20 months. Right. That means about 2 lakh is saved. Right. And that has become now 2.4 lakh. Yeah. Market is at peak. And now there's a news that Russia Ukraine war is going to become more intense. That's going to affect the global economy. Right. Markets may crash. Right. You have saved this money to buy a new car. Right. You wanted this money to make the down payment. Now 2.4 lakh is there. Good exit. Right. right. Because you need this money to buy the exactly. car. Yeah. Otherwise, if the war situation goes bad, then automatically market will crash. Right. Your 2.4 lakh may become 2 lakh again right. or maybe less, less than that. So that's the right option. If you invest in the top mutual funds, that's good for you. Is that a myth? What do you mean by top mutual funds? The ones that, you know, we have different websites that tell us these are the top five mutual funds. You should definitely invest in this. See, unfortunately in India, Sellers are advising, advisors are selling. Right. So whenever someone gives you recommendation advice, even if we always take it with a pinch of salt. Right. Because what happens there is they may be paid to recommend those mutual funds. Right. So don't don't take their advice straight. Go study them. Right. Very simple on Freedom Map, we have a course on mutual funds, very detailed. You become an expert just by watching that course. So go through all basics, like what is the expense ratio? What are the last five year returns? Right. What is the benchmark return against the index? You know, what is the portfolio? The fund manager, you know, the history. Right. What are other funds is, is, is managing? Right. So look at all those details, then make a decisions. And also AUM, asset under management. If it's a very new fund, very less money under management which means that fund may not do well on you. So look at all aspects, then make a decision. Right. Don't invest just because 
top rated i've seen a rated funds not doing good just because i mean you you know the corruption is not only in government sector corruption is there in private sector also you've seen what happened in nsc scam very nice, recently yeah. right so that can happen so just don't go by rating given by some agency Thank you, sir. I'm sure this would have clarified a lot of the doubts that you have, and uh, for me, a lot of my doubts have been cleared. So personally, I would love to thank you. With that, it's a wrap on this lovely video. Do like, share, follow, and subscribe for more such videos. And in the description below, uh, we have our freedom app. So download that for more such content.